Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to go through how to add your YouTube account to Niche Blaster. And as I mentioned in my previous video, we have simplified the process. So all you have to do is add your YouTube account and you can do that by clicking on add here. You can put in your Gmail username, password, and for website, you can choose YouTube. I'm just going to put my video on pause because the software doesn't hide my password here. So I'll be back to you in just a second. Now I have added my YouTube account here. So the next step that you need to do is click on the checkbox here and then click on start checking accounts and getting channels. So now you can just sit back and wait while the software checks your account and imports your YouTube channels into Niche Blaster. It does everything for you automatically in the background. It will put in your login details that you provided and there's nothing for you to do here. So you can focus on other tasks. And now task has been completed. So we can now see that this has turned green. So the next thing we need to do is choose a YouTube channel. So I have two channels here. I'm going to choose digital marketing. And then we have to authorize the internal API. So all you have to do is click on this button and you can see it is authorizing. And now that has been authorized. If you have multiple YouTube channels that you'd like to import into Niche Blaster, what you can do is click on expand accounts. What it does, it creates a new row here with your new channels. And if you have multiple channels, it will create a row for each channel. What you can do then is checkbox your channels, click on start authorizing internal APIs, and you can see they have been added now and the APIs have been authorized. Also, what you can do is you can save all your accounts onto your computer, which means all of the accounts here, you can then import into the software in case uh, you need to delete the software and reinstall it or change computer. Also guys, please make sure you have installed VC++ latest version, and I'm going to include a link for that just below this video.